The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel. Diddy has been facing the sins of his past since the video of him allegedly beating his ex has spread like wildfire on the internet. This surveillance video was released by CNN showing Combs, 54, brutally assaulting his ex Ventura, 37, at a hotel in 2016. In the clip, the I'll Be Miss You rapper ran out of his hotel room, only wearing a towel around his waist to chase after the Me and You singer as she tried to get on an elevator to escape corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. When Combs reached Cassie, he grabbed her by the back of the neck and threw her to the floor. As she lay motionless, he kicked her two times before dragging the model by her sweatshirt. Such terrifying evidence of Sean's continuous assault solidified Cassie's claims as last November she filed a bombshell lawsuit against Combs, accusing him of physically abusing her and her throughout their 10-year relationship. In fact, the Long Way To Go singer detailed the incident in the leaked surveillance video in the complaint. In the suit, Cassie claimed that around March 2016, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye. Cassie's lawyer, Douglas H. Wigdor, also issued a statement after the video was revealed, claiming the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Miss Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. The mom of two alleged in the complaint that she attempted to leave the hotel room after the Revolt TV founder fell asleep, but he woke up and followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. He grabbed at her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her, causing glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape, the suit alleged. Though Combs denied the allegations, the lawsuit was settled the next day. Since Cassie's suit, the hip-hop mogul has faced four other civil lawsuits accusing him of a range of sexual misconduct and other illegal activity, while Combs has denied all claims. However, one of the many victims of Diddy Combs who came forward was his ex Misa Hilton, who claimed that the viral assault video triggered my own trauma. I am heartbroken that Cassie must relive the horror of her abuse, and my heart goes out to her. The celebrity stylist wrote on Instagram Tuesday, alongside photos of Combs' seven children. I know exactly how she feels, and through my empathy, it has triggered my own trauma. Hilton, who dated Combs in the early 90s, concluded her message by saying that the record producer needs help and she is praying that he truly does the personal work and receives it. Her statement came out not even a week after CNN posted the surveillance video and it seems Diddy finally took the pressure of karma and released an apology video on Instagram soon right after the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office announced it would not file charges against Combs due to the statute of limitation. And of course, with being unveiled in front of the public eye comes the swift apology video, one that quite obviously sounds like a desperate attempt to cover up. According to the rapper, he was disgusted. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions. The celebrity went on to claim he sought out therapy and rehab and had to ask God for his mercy and grace to get better. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Truly sorry. Ending the video, he said, I'm not asking for forgiveness, I'm truly sorry. But in what seems like a heartfelt video, one aspect is missing that everyone noted. Sean Diddy does not even once mention his ex Cassie or any of his other victims' names. Why would you think that is so? Is he still escaping his past and the consequences of his actions? Well, Turns out Diddy Combs reportedly did not mention ex Cassie Ventura by name in his apology video for legal reasons. Seeing lots of commentary about Hash Diddy not mentioning Cassie in his apology, Susie Siegel, the CNN reporter who broke the video of Diddy assaulting the singer during a 2016 hotel stay, tweeted Tuesday, Diddy and Cassie's November 2023 settlement prohibits both from speaking about each other. Multiple sources have told me, the reporter said. He's not allowed to say Cassie's name, a source familiar with the settlement says. Despite the apology video, the pop star's team is severely unimpressed, calling it pathetic. Combs most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. Meredith Firetog, a partner at Wigdor LLP, the legal firm representing Ventura, told Page Six in a statement Sunday. When Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. She continued, 
that he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false shows his pathetic desperation and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. How would one deny all allegations of violence and assault when even your own assistant feels the need to speak up against you? That is right, Diddy's own former assistant said she was not surprised when the video surfaced this week showing the rapper violently beating his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hotel. Susie Siegi, who was the music mogul's assistant from 2008 and 2009, when he and Ventura began dating. I did, I was his assistant between 2008 and 2009, and they were dating when I worked for him. Told CNN that there was not one cell in my body that was surprised by the disturbing 2016 clip. As a woman, you are sensitive to the matters of violence and abuse. So when the assistant saw the video, she felt utterly disgusted about its sincerity. I felt sick and I felt violently angry and I felt like I'm sure a lot of men and women uh, feel looking at that video that it's, it's so disturbing that the video doesn't lie. Siegel said she spent a lot of time in limos and at parties with the couple while employed as Combs's assistant, but never saw him speak harshly to her or be abusive or anything like that. I was around him a lot and I got a feeling for who he was, she continued. I didn't see anything that could get him in trouble, but I think that the power dynamic in a situation like that, especially at the beginning of her career, she said. She said it was her women's intuition. But I would say that it's woman's intuition. That led her to believe Combs was capable of violence, as well as the way he interacted with the people around him. Nobody was mistreated that I saw. I didn't feel mistreated, but it was very clear to me again, this is intuition. He just didn't see your humanity when he looked at you, she said. Ending the interview, Diddy's assistant said, I think when the power differential is so different, you can get away with anything that you want. The power differential was indeed huge as Cassie depended entirely on Diddy for her career and future stability. Could you blame her for tolerating it for so long? Former bodyguard speaks up. Even if the rapper's assistant saw nothing that could have led her to believe abuse was taking place under her nose, Diddy's ex-bodyguard sure did witness the events unfold and seems like he did not hesitate to share it with the world. Sean Diddy Combs, former head of security said he had witnessed the rapper being violent toward women four or five times, leaving him unsurprised by the shocking footage of him brutally beating then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. Roger Bonds told Piers Morgan in an interview late Monday that none of what was shown in the video surprised or moved the head of security in any way, as he had already seen stuff of this nature before. It didn't surprise me when I saw it, because I've seen things to this nature before. I've gotten in between things of this nature before, and this was back in 2012, he said of the horrifying assault. When asked how many times he'd seen Diddy become violent toward women, Bonds replied, uh, Around four or five times. I've seen him be violent with Cassie, and I've seen him with Kim Porter, his kid's mother, Bond said of the late model. He went on to comment about Diddy's constant visits to wrestling matches and his violent nature, questioning why the producer was so angry. I seen him get into some rustling and punching matches, and sometimes I felt like, what are you mad at? When you have a problem with every woman that you're dealing with, then I think that problem is inside of you, he added. Bonds believes Diddy's apology for the 2016 incident was just what he thought other people wanted to hear. You can't just say anything you want to say and think that people are going to accept it, he said. Of course, Bonds was not the only person questioning the man's genuineness. Bonds believes Diddy knew there were security cameras in the hotel and that he could buy the footage. He allegedly paid $50,000 for the footage at the time, according to Cassie's lawsuit. The same way that he's been in a lot of trouble before and you could pay your way out, he knew those cameras was there. However, the rapper did not know that the hotel had also given Ventura a copy of the footage, Bonds suggested. When you go through life just paying your way out, I really feel like he wasn't sorry about that. He might be sorry now that he got caught, but if that was a one-time incident, then I would say accept his apology. But I think in that apology he said what he thought people wanted to hear, Bonds said. Anna Navarro, a political commentator, encouraged people to treat Sean Diddy Combs like a social leper. Look, the LAPD may not be able to charge him, but we are able to shun him, and he should be treated like the leper, the social leper, and criminal he is. Navarro noted on Monday's episode of The View. She further explained that she expects to not see him in any restaurant or award show, and she won't buy anything from any brand he's associated with. 
You know, I don't want to see him in any restaurant. I don't want to see him in any award show. I'm not going to buy any brand that he's associated with. He's been dropped by a bunch already. I think this guy should be treated and pay horrible social consequences. She doubled down. Navarro also slammed people in Combs Circle who may have enabled, justified, and looked the other way on all of this type of behavior for decades. Shame on that hotel chain. Shame on all the people around Sean Combs who have enabled, justified, and looked the other way on all of this type of behavior yeah. for decades. Whoopi Goldberg also argued that it's... It's oh. easy to be sorry after they after You're people found that you lied, yeah. because you said you didn't do it. The former actress was referring to Combs previously denying Ventura's allegations of abuse after she filed a November 2023 lawsuit against him. Along with the television hosts, Bishop T.D. Jakes, a longtime spiritual mentor to Diddy, quietly cut ties with the mogul earlier this month too, and publicly blasted him Sunday from the pulpit at the Potter's House, his mega church in Dallas. This wasn't on the program, a fiery Jakes told his 17,000 congregants, but I got a request that came in on social media as I was coming into the church. He then addressed the shocking video of Diddy abusing Ventura. I know who it was, but as a man, I saw my daughters, and it made me angry, said the disappointed mentor. Further added, let me tell you a couple of things before we pray, both for the victims and the perpetrator, Jakes told the congregation. There's something you need to understand. If you've got a rage you can't control, if you have an emotional problem, a mental health issue where you're bipolar and your kids get scared when they hear your car coming home, you've got to get some help, dude. Mayor Eric Adams says his administration is considering taking back Sean Diddy Combs' key to the city after the blood-curdling surveillance footage. I think all of us were deeply disturbed by watching that chilling video of the young lady being assaulted by him, Adams told PIX 11 News on Monday. And the committee and the team never rescinded a key, a, a key before, but we are now sitting down to see what the next steps of forward are going to be. Adams said his administration will be taking everything under analysis before it comes up with a final determination. The mayor had awarded Diddy a key to the city last year to honor all he had done for the Big Apple in donating millions of dollars to support black entrepreneurs. At the time, Adams dubbed him the embodiment of the New York City attitude. A son of Harlem, Combs worked his way to the top, becoming a successful musical talent, both in front of and behind the mic, Adams said at the time. Oh, how he had to take back those words quick. Adams said to reporters at his weekly press briefing Tuesday that his administration is still weighing what to do. But City Councilwoman Jennifer Gutierrez told The Post it's a no-brainer. Take that key back, the poll said. These are ceremoniously given out to folks who have made contributions. And while I understand Diddy is getting help, which is good, and acknowledge his actions, he doesn't need the key to work through his accountability. Having the mayor revoke the key also sends a message to survivors that no matter how popular you are, abuse towards women is a non-starter, Gutierrez said. Simple as that and maybe more victims will come forward feeling seen and heard. How it must feel like to be on the top of the world at one moment and then mercilessly dragged through mud the next just because you couldn't control yourself. We send prayers and wishes to the victims. There you have it, people. All the news related to the recent scandal condensed into one short video for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. See you next time.